Hey out there in Facebook land, this is Wolf with Painted Horse Ranch. Uh, we got uh, Bob, Keith. Keith. Keith, Keith Bob, and Tomahawk, Torpedo, the cameraman right there. Say hello to yourself there. That's uh, uh, what's up? Yeah, that's Solomon, and I'm Wolf. Today, we're going to be showing you um, trailering how to load. All right, for those of you that uh, want to see the full video, be sure to go to my uh, YouTube, Painted Horse Ranch. Uh, if you like it, hit like and subscribe it on my YouTube, Painted Horse Ranch. Now, for everything else, um, we have quite a few different things that we could use to get this horse in the trailer. First, we're going to try politely. And as it progresses, you get a little more aggressive. We have a lunge line to uh, what I call sling or basket the horse, okay? We also have the uh, lunge whip or whip with the boogie bag. You don't like those. And then we also have the grain for treats when doing that. So first off, we're gonna try and load the horse. You want me to do or do you wanna try? Okay, so he's gonna try it out and see if he can load the horse all on his own. Come on over here. Come on over here. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. Now, are you listening? All right, let me kind of take over real quick here. Okay, hope, hope. Now, I can't believe he did that. We don't know this horse. I don't know if this horse has ever pulled back before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this right here. Any smart transporter knows that sometimes they will get a horse that will walk all the way in and then when they go to load them up, hitch them up, tie them up, and you turn to walk away and the horse backs up with you, they feel the tension, next thing they know, you know they're rearing back, flailing, hitting their head here, banging all the way around getting you trapped under its legs, and it is a nightmare. So what we did was, uh, we put the horse's head to a lunge line. All right, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. But when you hitch up your horse, don't let your horse's head turn away from you because now he can escape and he's stronger than you and he'll pull you right out, okay? Or you'll have to let go because you just put yourself in a dangerous situation. So you want to keep his head to the right of you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring him up. There you go. Bring him all the way up. There, come on. There you go. Now you're going to give a slight tension on the lunge line. And you're going to start to walk back. If he backs up or bolts, let him. Because you can always trailer him back. Okay. Uh... I don't know how to promote him to do that, but if he wants to, see, I'm gonna keep his head. He's trying to pull on me. I'm gonna keep his head like that. And hopefully he's gonna to wanna to back up. No, he's not gonna to wanna to back up. I'm hoping he will do it on his own. But you know, he's not doing it. So anyway, it's a nice safe way. If he backs up, I just let loose with this uh, lunge line and he backs up next to me as he strings along and then I catch him. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mimic it. So if Keith can come into the picture, Keith just walk up, grab his lead and see if you can back him up against this wall. Okay, and then I'll like, give an explanation. So we're gonna like mimic it. We're gonna, uh, um, don't turn his head, keep his head straight and just try and get him to back up. Don't turn his head, just keep his head straight and get him to back up. Can you get him to back up? Come on. There you go, back up. Grab his muzzle. Grab his muzzle now, put pressure. Come on. We're trying to uh, Come on. Come on. mimic. Come on. Come on. No? Back up, back up. Give it a little jerk. Jerk back, jerk back. Jerk back. Come on, jerk back. All right, so we can't get him to back up. Just turn him and walk him out. Just turn him and walk him out, because I only got so much time on this video. Good boy. 
Just turn and walk them out, huh? We're going to be here all day. Walk them out. And you can see how this lunge line works as he passes through. As he passes through, then you can catch him. Boom, then you caught him. Ta-da! Well, that's the best we could do as far as mimicking with a horse. You can always bring the horse back in. Don't try to literally, physically keep that horse from coming in. All right, because you can always work the horse again. Hold on a second. Uh, okay. Helps have a nice. Go trail. ahead and disconnect. All right. Butterbean. There you go. So now we know the horse will stay at a tie. All right. So we use that one. That's great. All right. Uh, now, what I like to do under normal. So we don't need this anymore. We showed you that. If you're not, if you don't know the horse and you don't trust him, man, don't don't hitch him up to that and start to walk away. Because once he pulls back, it's too late. Damage done. The horse is gonna flail and do everything like that. Be smart, okay? So we know the horse will stay. All right. Now, another common practice. Let's bring him in. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let me get next to him. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There you go, bud. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Do we have any treats? I just gave him Come one. On. Come on. Come on. Well, let's skip to it. So now you got a horse. You know he'll load, but every once in a while he gives you a little bit of trouble. So you can do a couple things. First, we'll try this one. It's tap, tap. Come on, boy. 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 Tap, tap. I'm not one for circling up. So I'm going to scooch him left. Scooch him right. There we go. Come on, boy. Most people, they circle him up. But I've already got him here. So now I'm going to go with something else. This right here. And all I do is I go right back here and I tap him. Come on, boy. There you go. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on in. Now remember. Now remember. I still don't trust him all that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the tension on my lead rope, come back to where I can push on his butt. Did you see him go in? Push on his butt as I come across. Let go. I hope you caught all that. Okay. So, then I go outside, I'll go around and I'll latch him in. Alright? But he's not tied. Okay? I don't have to worry because the lead rope's still on him. If he turns and comes in this way, I got him. Boom. Now, this is not a straight load, so. It's nice wide enough that we turn the horse. I like the my horses since I don't have a straight load. I have a slant load. I like to turn my horses instead of back them up. It's easier, easier to get them off of the step. And especially if you have a ramp load, you know, if they start to veer one way or the other, and if they go over the side, they'll scrape, they'll scrape right here on their inside leg. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the next one. Say you couldn't get them in that way. Even the way I showed you, just a little tap to get his attention. That's all it is for, get his attention. I've seen some people just come from left field and whap, way around there. Oh my God. Don't do that, man. <laughs> you want to have a good experience. You don't want to have a bad experience on the horse. And, and, and what I should have said in the beginning is, is that, look, when loading a troubled horse that you're not confident with, allow the time needed give yourself at least a half an hour you know get there a half hour early just in case he is a little bit of a trouble and then we're going to go on to the next one okay oh. all right we need more treats i gotta have lots of treats there we go there we go i like treats let them know that this, this is still a pleasurable moment now we're going to do what we call the sling. 
or the basket thing, okay? Say you can get your horse up to here. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. It's kind of good. Come on, boy. It's kind of good that he's not doing it. Alright. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Easy, easy does it. Sometimes, you see how I'm getting a negative effect on it? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There you go. There's the positive effect of that. Easy. Give it another one. Come on. Come on, boy. All right. We don't have to pressure him too much. So, Keith, can you go grab that lunge round line? Now, hopefully you can film, or maybe I can film it as you guys do it. You grab one end. Let me have a camera. You grab the other end. Go around the other side. One take one side, one take the other. There you go. Gently against it. Oh, oh. Gently against it. There we go. There we go. And in you go. Ta-da! All right. That was like way, way dramatic he did. Usually it goes up against his butt and, and there's a little pulling involved. But that's great. No problem. No problem. You want to come get this camera now? So there's, there's the other way. <laughs> so there's the other method. Sling or uh, basket the horse on the rear. Okay, I'm gonna turn him around, give him a little confidence there. That's one other method, okay? Usually it takes some pulling involved, it's not so easy. Jesus, he didn't want it to touch him. All right, um, so then the next one, uh, if you're somebody that really wants to take their time, right? Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next one. You do this since it's your horse you know how to do the the grain no. shake the bucket and walk in make sure he's, he knows what it is you never done that before loaded one time, you never you never loaded other horses nope oh shit no man. well okay <laughs> well, well walk in so he come knows on. it come on walk, in. Come on. walk him in Come on. Let's go. Come on. Okay. You're giving him too much. Too much? Walk him in. Yeah. He's already got a taste of it. He knows what it is. Come on. Walk him in. Come on. Okay. So this is what we got right here. So what we're going to do. Here, let me have this. We're going to bring it up to right there. Now, you gotta be a little more firm with him because you're being, you get on the same side as him, left side, and jerk, jerk. Okay, he's not gonna do it, so give him the little rasp. Little firmer, there you go. Little firmer. Little firmer. This is really great because this is real, this is real stuff here. There you go. You gotta get a little firmer there. You're tickling him. The horse is laughing. There you go. You can come forward. You want me to do it? It take these these things. This this method. These methods here take a little bit of practice. Come on. No schmo can do it. And you're not gonna pull them in. Wait. You want me to get in there? Let me help you. There you go. There go. All right. Oh, why'd you stop? Come on. Come on. Come on. Get him going. Let's go. Come on. All right. Stop right there. I just helped him. That this is the, <laughs> we, we're on a video time. So uh, wait, wait, wait. Give him a treat. 
give them a treat with the thing. You gotta have film the bucket and everything. Film the bucket and everything. There you go. So people know what the heck you're doing. Now try and lure him in. Lure him in. There you go. He did that all his own. I didn't help him. Hold back right there. Keep his head. 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 Keep his head right there. Now, say you got a horse that loads and backs up and loads and backs up and loads and backs up. Okay? As long as he keeps loading, that's a good thing. But you want to keep him in? Here you go. Easy boy. There you go. All right. Reach down there. Keep his head. Reach down. Keep his head. Keep his head. Reach down and give him a treat. There you go. I'm going to sit back in the sun. And what we're going to try and do is to get him to re lower his head down to that bucket. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you know it's there now. There we go. Get him to lower his head. Well, he'll probably do it on his own. Boy, this is going to be a long video, but at least people see the real time of it. You know, it's not staged. I like stuff that's not staged, you know, because people says, oh, that's fine to do it with a horse that already knows better, but what about a horse that actually doesn't know it? Well, here you go. Here yeah, you go. And a spooky horse. Uh-huh. Now, spooky. if you can, with this horse you can. So we already get the gist of it. I'm gonna come over here. We already get the gist of it. The horse is scared. He doesn't like being in the horse trailer. All right, granted, he's not trying to come out. All right, but if you do, if you have a partner, close the doors behind you and work the horse with this, providing that the horse isn't going hysterical, providing that the horse isn't going hysterical. Mm -hmm. All right, so we know this horse is scared and we know he'll take the grain. Okay, um, we can go on to the next step. Once you get your horse to this step here, this position, Put that more away in the corner. As a matter of fact, you know what you can do? Um, hook it to that. Hook it to that. And the, the next step would be, okay, we want to keep him in there. We want to promote him. You always keep his head. Uh, always keep his head. All right. Now, uh, string that over just once. So we, he's going to string it over just once. There you go. Strings it over just once. Hold the tension, hold the tension, and then put pressure on his butt. Look, put pressure on his butt, and there you go. Now come back, come back, and ready, let go, and we gotta shut the gate. All right, so you shut it and let him eat, okay? But, come back over here. You wanna keep him in, so he wants to stay in. Come over here, we're gonna let that go. We want him to stay in. We want him to want to stay in. So I'm going to give him a little treat. So you get to the point. You might have to hold him. You might have to hold him here, okay? You just might have to hold him here. But eventually what you want to do is be able to... Oh, I knew he was going to follow me. I knew he was going to follow me. You want to keep him in there. You're going to want him to want to stay in. That's what I want. And that's the whole purpose of that is want to stay in. He's gonna to want to stay in, and then eventually you can shut your partition, and he'll grain all he wants. When he's done graining, you unrelease him, okay? So what I mean by that is, uh, I'm gonna spin him around, you guys. Easy, come around, come around, boy. Okay, so you get him in here. Bada bing, string this up. I make it a common practice. I make it a common practice, okay, to uh, do this with the legal. It's a common practice. See his head down there? When your horse is doing that, when you're doing this exercise, you must be ready to open this thing. Because if he starts to, if I see him start to try and climb under it, I'm gonna do this. Oh shit. I'm gonna go bang, 
bang it, and I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open it wide open because I don't want him to get trapped under there like that. And you wait till he finishes the grain. So you got the gist of it. We're gonna wait for him to finish the grain. Okay, end of the exercise. Try it tomorrow. Try it tomorrow. And the goal you're trying to achieve is to get him to stay there like that, not tied up and eating his grain. No partition, not being tied up and everything. And then you have now trailer trained your horse in a manner that you can trust him and you're not gonna get hurt. Now, we're gonna go to a more aggressive uh, method. All right, uh, the final one that I'm gonna use today um, uh, well we'll go one more than that all right so let's bring them out so there's two more methods all right um, Sean uh, why do I keep calling you Sean Keith you take your horse stay side by side to your horse now if you got another person here got another person here okay get ready to walk now I'm gonna take it and tap tap see he's he's not gonna let me do it so keep him right there this is the horse because I, I don't want no stay right there stay right there stay right there get some room so this is the horse this is his rump you're gonna tap 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 the whole focus and principle behind this this is an old cowboy technique you can even do it by yourself with the lunge whip. You sit there, hold the lunge whip that's tied up to the trailer inside and you just tap him until he gets so fed up with you tapping his rump, he jumps in or moves forward when need to be moving forward, okay? I can't do it to him because look how frightened he is. Look how frightened he is. You ready to walk in? Mm -hmm. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap. Be very careful because if he wanted to, he probably could have kicked me. I thought I was at a good enough distance, but I can only go so far with this because it, it has the bag and I, and I don't want to do that. So there's that method there. When you have a partner or get the lunge line, if you can get them up to the edge of the trailer, hook them up to the lunge line, come back to the rump and tap, 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 tap to the rump and hold tension on the lunge line and his head is facing in the trailer and he goes in. Okay, I wish I could show you that part, but he's just too afraid, this one. Okay, now the next one, final one, is very aggressive. Even though it's not harmful, but it is a very aggressive technique. Go ahead, uh, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Sean again. Go, go ahead, uh, Keith, turn him around. Now, Keith, you be ready. Now, check this out. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna come next to Keith because he's really scared of this thing. All right, I'm gonna come next to Keith here. Now, Keith, he's gonna be the one to tell me when to go. That means I don't know when he's ready to walk forward. And if I, if I wave this whip with this boogie bag too soon, he could get run over or he could get dragged. Defeats the whole purpose. So please, safety, safety, safety. <laughs> I always say that, safety, safety. Yes, we do this on a muddy, snowy hill. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, somebody on TikTok, or somebody will mention that on yeah. the comment. But if uh, you can do it here, yeah, you can do you it can anywhere. Do it. So you are gonna tell me when to go. Now me as the person giving the whip, whoever you have with this whip and this boogie bag, Better know to do it only one stroke at a time. Because if you go crazy on it, your horse will go crazy. You can hurt the horse, the trailer, and the person that's holding the horse. All right, now, you're gonna have to get an angle over there so you can see the whole everybody, okay? So you tell me when to go. Go. There you go. I'm gonna do it one more time. And in you go. That's all it takes, usually. That's all it takes, usually, okay? Usually. Now we're gonna end it there. Why don't you go ahead and 
uh, reward your horse, Keith. Thank you, thank you, Keith, and thank you, uh, Torpedo. Tom torpedo <laughs> yeah he went in like a torpedo thank you tomahawk everybody give a thank big thanks to keith and to tomahawk for letting us use them as an example on trailer loading um i hope that helps you um these are several different techniques depending on how easy or how hard it is to get your horse to load okay uh, feel free to keep on commenting with uh, questions and stuff like that, and I'll see if I can't answer them. I'm Wolf uh, with Painted Horse Ranch, and... We'll see you there. You didn't even put it. We'll see you there. Yeehaw. <laughs>